Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing four of the spring trends that I'm absolutely loving. Starting off with one of my favorites which has to be ruffles. Now this is a very romantic, very sort of whimsical trend and I love the way that it can update a rather simple top or a skirt. The first look that I'm sharing is one that's a little understated I feel. I think that the sleeve detail is very subtle because I'm wearing it in a black top with a polka dot. You kind of draw onto the print over the actual trendy sleeve and I've actually tried to do a little bit of print mixing here with the Hounds Truth skirt and I think it actually works really well but I love the way that this just adds a really pretty element to the outfit and it's also elegant at the same time. I've paired it with my Everlane Day heels which are my favorites and you're going to be seeing them a lot in this video just because I tend to wear them most days. The top I'm wearing is from Sports Girl but unfortunately I think it's sold out so I will link something that is very similar down in the description box below. For the second outfit, I wanted to show how you can wear ruffles in much more of a statement way. So I thought that this dress from Karen Walker was the perfect example. This dress has this enormous ruffle that starts from the front of the dress and actually extends the whole way around. It's a little bit youthful, I think, but I really feel like it gives a lot of life to this shift dress and just makes it really playful and fun. And this is a great one because it's also a really good layering piece for in the winter time. It looks really nice with a little mock neck, long sleeve top and a pair of ties. Again, I'm wearing this with my Everlane Day heels. They are just so easy and such a good go-to shoe for absolutely every outfit. And I love the fact that this dress actually has pockets as well and you can see that there's also the little ruffle detail on the pockets too which just helps to keep that trend going throughout this look. Now, if you are planning on wearing a ruffle sleeve and it's a bit chilly, I would highly recommend keeping your eyes peeled for a coat that has a fluted sleeve to it so that it doesn't actually bunch up within the jacket and it's really comfortable to wear like this one that I've got from Karen Walker. This next trend is absolutely everywhere at the moment. I'm a little bit obsessed. It is gingham. I know I'm not the only one who is really falling for this trend. And I feel like there are two ways that you can wear it. You can wear it as a full on piece like I've got this dress here from Urban Outfitters which I've paired back with my Charlotte Olympia kitty flats and this Mansur Gabrielle inspired bag from High Eleven. But I just think that keeping the gingham as the focal piece and having really simple accessories is the way to go if that's kind of what you are after. I feel like this outfit would also look absolutely stunning with a fun colored shoe and a little bright colored handbag to match. I just think that that would bring out that kind of playful element and be very spring-like and it's just a way that you could have a lot more fun with this look. As you guys know, I'm all about those neutral colors in my wardrobe. I don't tend to stray too far from them, so for me, all black is the way that I am going with this look. The second way that I would style gingham is as more of an accent piece. So using it to accent neutral colors in your wardrobe. The top that I'm wearing is from Shein. Now this is an old one. I don't think it's still available, but I have found a very similar one, which I'll link in the description box below. And I paired it with these sand colored culottes from Topshop. I just think it's a really nice pairing. It's really unexpected. And I love the silhouette of this outfit. I have done a blog post wearing this, so I will link that in the description box below in case you would like to see it. As obviously it's one of my current favorite outfits. I just think it's such a cool look and I think it's a really fun way to play into that trend while also wearing culottes which are one of my favorite spring staple pieces. And of course I've paired it with my Everlane Day heels because why not? The third trend that is everywhere this spring is red and I am also all over it. I'm really loving that addition of that pop of color in my wardrobe because I feel like it's much needed and spring is definitely the time to have a bit of fun with what you have in your closet. So for me, because I don't tend to wear a lot of color, I find that it's actually a little bit better to wear something that's a bit more pared back. So this Topshop cami is the perfect example of that. It's something very easy to incorporate into my existing wardrobe and complements it really nicely. I'm wearing it here with these culottes from Grana and again my Everlane Day Heels. You guys can tell I wear these a lot but I just think that it works really well. If you're a little bit more bold you could go for a red skirt or a red dress. I just think that would look absolutely stunning. The second way that I like to incorporate red into my wardrobe is as an accessory and this little pouch is absolutely brilliant. 
Unlike the top, which was a little bit blue toned, this has an orange undertone to it and I just think it feels very spring and summery. This is from Mighty Purse and it's genius because it actually charges your cell phone as well. So very handy to have in your handbag, even if you're not using it as your day bag. But I just love how this adds that pop of color to my outfit. I know that's such a cliche, but it just works really well. If you don't want to go for a red bag, I think also red accessories like maybe a red earring, a necklace, or some red shoes work really well also. But yeah, I just feel like this fits in really well with the overall vibe. It is such an easy way to add in a bit of color to your wardrobe, particularly if you're very color averse like I typically tend to be. As I'm sure you guys can see, I've gone for a very Parisian look with this and I feel like it would be topped off perfectly with a red lip. The last trend that I want to talk about is the mule and I'm so glad that this particular style of shoe has not gone anywhere and it doesn't look like it's going anywhere anytime soon. I feel like this is the perfect shoe choice for if you are looking for a more casual outfit or a more dressed up one. So I wanted to show you two different looks and how I tend to incorporate mules into those outfits. So this first one is very casual. This is the sort of thing that I would wear on the weekend and it's very easy. It's something that I can just throw on and rush out the door. I feel like these black mules just complement the look very effortlessly. It just makes me appear as though I have made a little bit more effort than I actually have just because they've got that little bit of a heel to them when really if I was wearing a sneaker this would just completely transform the outfit. The striped top that I'm wearing is from T by Alexander Wang. I've had it for years and I love it. My jacket is from Workshop and it's just been a brilliant addition to my wardrobe and the jeans are from J Brand. I just feel like this whole outfit works really well together. Then the second look and final outfit that I'll be sharing this video is a little bit more dressed up and I have played a little bit with that ruffle trend just because I felt like it was really appropriately incorporated into this look. But as you can see, I feel like the mules just really dress this up and take the outfit up a notch. It's very simple, very elegant. You could also swap in a little cami dress or actually just wear a cami with the skirt that I've got on. I think that that would also look absolutely chic but I just feel like they're such an easy option for if you're going out and they aren't going to kill your feet, particularly if you're planning on spending the entire night on the dance floor like I tend to do. So those are the four spring trends that I wanted to share with you in this video and how to wear them. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I would love to know which trend is your favorite or if there's a trend that you are loving for the season ahead that I didn't mention. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new and like to see more from me and I'll see you next time with a brand new video. See you soon, bye.